Welcome, welcome guys to another video. So in this video, we're gonna do another raw unscripted video on why I think you should consider starting your own agency or even work for yourself, possibly start as like a freelancer or a contractor, and then perhaps kind of work your way up to owning a business or scaling if you want to. And if you're excited to get into this, please consider supporting a fellow recruiter. Give us a like, subscribe, click that bell, it would honestly mean a lot and help us have the energy to make, continue to make amazing, amazing content for you. So let's get into this. So why should you start an agency? I think there are three reasons that I want to kind of go over, but the first is have more ownership and control in your future, right? If you've been watching for a long time, I've been a technical recruiter for almost a decade. A lot of my clients that we work with are early stage VC backed startups across all sectors in all of the major cities across the US. And for the lack of a better word, the past, I would say two to three years has been very rocky. It's been full of all these layoffs, all these companies acting irrationally, you know, rescinding offers, companies that are scaling quickly like rocket ships only to no longer be in business today. Just going back to layoffs, the ongoing nature of it, that's just still happening even now in mid 2024 and there's no signs of it stopping. And it's just brutal. Every time I go on LinkedIn or I go on social and I hear about all these amazing people, not just recruiters, but all these other amazing talent that just lost their jobs with no foresight, no heads up. It just honestly breaks my heart. And then to go through that and then to find yourself in a situation where it's very difficult for you to get another job, weeks can go by, months can go by, I mean, it's just absolutely brutal out there. So, and in my personal opinion, I think there's gonna be a greater trend that people are just gonna, you know, be sick and depressed and have lower morale in, or just overall trust with corporations and companies. And they would be just a lot more inspired to kind of make that bet for themselves, right? To kind of go for it, take that gamble. And whether it's like to start a business, a side hustle or sort of freelancing career, there's no better time to do it now, right? Especially like with all the, the business and economic macro on a micro scale that's happening right now, I think there's no better time to bet against yourself to take that gamble and to do it smart. And so I think to have control, to have ownership, you no longer have to worry about showing up to work one day, not having access to Slack or email. You don't have to worry about being on pins and needles with your managers, knowing that even if you try your best, it's never going to be good enough and you could be fired any day. Or to show up in an office where you just hate the culture or you hate the managers or your team, right? I think there's a better reason now, more of an impetus to kind of light that fire within you and to go for it. I totally understand that it could be scary. Totally understand it could be very, very stressful, but you only have one life. So might as well, if that's something that you've wanted to do for a long time to go for it, right? And don't wait until you're older with a lot more responsibilities or family or kids, especially if you're, you know, a dual income couple or you're single, or maybe, you know, you're just kind of in a relationship with a very supportive partner. Now is the best time to honestly go for it. Whether it's starting a recruiting agency or another business, I'm all about people just taking the bet against themselves, you're not gonna experience any other swings as working for yourself. And that goes for obviously the ups, when things are great, you can make a lot of money, it could be very fulfilling, or down where it's very anxiety-driven, stress, you have to constantly work with rejection and failure on a day-to-day -day basis, and just having to push through. But I think it's not for everybody, but I think for those that are entrepreneurial, who've done some entrepreneurial things in the past, maybe you grew up with entrepreneurial parents, or something that you've always wanted to do, you could do it, you know, if I could do it, I can do it, you can do it too. Just make sure, again, you do it smart, you have ample savings, I would recommend six to 12 months. Make sure that you also have like a highly, highly developed skill that you can leverage to start a business or an agency, right? With me, I did it with recruiting, but you can do it in marketing, design, you can do any kind of high in demand skill, but it could be marketing, it could be sales, it could be, you know, digital sales, finance, it could be anything, right? But I think that the key thing here is you wanna make sure that you have a really strong high in demand skill that you can kind of leverage because it makes it a lot, lot easier. But I think moving forward, no one knows what's gonna happen with the market. No one knows what's gonna happen with your domestic, kind of the nature of the economics or even what's gonna happen around the world and how that'll affect us at the end of the day. But I think if you've felt like you're plateaued, you have no growth or you want to get a new job or you can't find a new job, right? Of course, we would love to help on that aspect, but I would also like to encourage and urge you guys to kind of take that leap forward because even if it doesn't work out, you're gonna learn so much, you're gonna develop a lot of new skills and knowledge that you can then leverage into an amazing career. If you want to go back into the workforce. So I think the downsides are limited. You just have to be smart. Financially, it's going to be extremely stressful. So make sure you have a little cushion there yourself and give yourself an honest three or what I believe like a six to 12 month timeline, go all in and try. But I think it's time for people to have ownership of their own lives instead of relying on companies, relying on managers, relying on founders. It's a blessing to have this life. So might as well go for it. So you don't have a life of regret. Did you just start your own recruitment agency and are struggling getting your own clients? Are you thinking about starting your own? 
own an agency but afraid to make the jump? Do you have your own clients but you're struggling to find the perfect candidates fast? Do you have a full-time job and want to do recruitment part-time to make more money on the side and have no idea how to? If you answered yes to any of these questions, please consider joining our private community. It is a trust-based community where recruiters around the world can support, collaborative, and work together on placements all around the year consistently. In this community, you will directly have access to the real open jobs of my team and of our members, and you will also have the chance to access trainings, events, giveaways, and much, much more. If you are part of this community, I communicate and work with you as if you were on my own team, and I'll do whatever I can to do a placement together with your client or candidate. So if you're struggling to get your own clients or candidates and you want a way you can make sure you can be busy all year round by having access to many more open roles, then this is something you need to look into. This is open to people around the world and is open for recruiters in every industry and experience levels as we will always have a good number of variety of open jobs across sectors, markets, and industries. I'm really happy to say that within the first 30 days, we have already have a new member with minimal recruiting experience do his first placement that had a total fee of almost 30,000 US dollars and we are working hard to do many, many more this year. If you are interested and excited, there are only a limited number of spots open, so make sure you sign up quick at patreon.com slash recruiter Preston. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Discord. We can set up a time to chat. See you on the other side. Now, the second reason why I think you should start an agency is out of all the other business models out there, it's one of the easiest that you can start right now. You don't have to, other than perhaps developing like a high demand skill, so with me in recruiting, you don't have to go to a graduate school to get fancy degree. You don't have to you know, hire a bunch of engineers to kind of create a software product. You don't have to be super technical and spend all this money to create a product that hopefully you can sell or that's gonna have great product market fit. All you need is a skill. And if you can have that skill and you can create a skill that you're confident in, then all you have to do is go out there, find business and go out there and fulfill. You don't have to create anything, no software needed, no crazy technical degrees required. It's one of those businesses where you can start literally tomorrow and you can find success relatively quickly. So if you were to kind of frame this into back into recruiting, if you've been a successful recruiter, you have a string of consistent placements under your belt and you know how to go out there and find business, you know how to go out there and find cans and kind of put it together and you've done it multiple times. I don't see why you can't succeed running your own agency. You can take a bigger cut, you're your own boss, you can kind of go for it, right? I think compared to other businesses, agent starting a service-based agency is less sexy, less trendy, but honestly, why do that? Why go for like the trendy viral or super sexy businesses? Business is hard enough, whatever you do, your biggest goal is to find one that you can hopefully be around or continue to be around a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, and one that you can be consistent, right? And you can be profitable. That's the biggest thing. And the agencies, if you know what you're doing, you can be profitable. There's a high chance you can be profitable in the first year, assuming you know what you're doing and you built that great foundation. You have a great work ethic and you developed a really good track record for yourself on knowing that you can kind of put deals together, you can do placements, and you can kind of rinse repeat over and over again. So I think it's honestly one of the best things to do. And agency is like a step two to like a freelance contracting. You don't have to automatically go from zero to an agency and hire people. You can be a solo recruiter. You can be a solo practitioner, a freelancer. Technically, it's not a business, but freelancing is the first step to self-employment, right? You still have to go out there, get your own business. You still have to go out there and fulfill. And agency is basically a freelancing, but with a bigger team. So start small, work for yourself, find a consistency, find your footing, find some success. And then you can choose if you want to go further or if you want to scale. When I started my agency, I actually started as a solo recruiter and that was intentional. There was nothing wrong with that. I was able to do a good number of placements every single year. My lifestyle was great. It gave me the flexibility to travel, to work wherever I wanted. And now, obviously, having been in this for almost a decade, my needs and interests have changed a little bit. I'm now kind of building out a team to focus on that next challenge and next chapter in my life because that's what I want to. But if I went to bed and woke up saying, I just want to be a solo recruiter all the way to the sunset, you can do that. And again, there is nothing Nothing wrong with that. I think in this hyper-capitalistic society and all the social media content that you see, there's a huge pressure to just start a business and then thinking that success equals a business with a hundred people or thousands of employees like Amazon or Facebook. You can do that, but also, you know, there's nothing wrong with small businesses or small teams or someone who can be extremely profitable by himself, by herself with a really high margin rate. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think there's a huge spectrum and you just got to find what works best for you, your lifestyle, and overall your ambitions. But I think starting an agency
agency right now with not a lot of previous, you know, startup experience like myself. I dabbled and had one startup with a friend, but we were so young, we didn't know what we were doing. There's a lot to learn, of course, with businesses, but I think like having a scale, then being able to just find business, find fulfillment, put it together, whether it's recruiting agency, a marketing agency, anything, any other content agency, advertising agency, anything else out there, you're just gonna learn so much. And you have that choice and the flexibility if you wanna continue growing or you just wanna leave it as is. Now, this brings me back to the third point. So one of the reasons why I'm a huge advocate for starting a business is it's easiest, it's fastest to kind of get off the ground. But most importantly, you're just gonna learn a ton, especially if you're just starting out alone or maybe you have one other partner. Like I mentioned in agency, the core of the model, right, is to, aside knowing a, like a highly in-demand skill, you have to go out there and find business. If you don't have it already, it's gonna force you to develop really strong business development, sales, communication, cold call, cold outreach skills. And on the fulfillment side, whatever your specialty or niche or market is, whether it's recruitment, it's finding candidates or digital marketing, fulfilling for clients or whatever, you're gonna have to learn how to deliver for clients over and over and over again in a professional, positive way. Not to mention putting it all together, management skills, admin skills, operational skills. You're gonna learn so many things in addition to your high in demand skill and working with clients that whether it's your choice to scale, whether it's your choice to start a brand new business, or maybe you close it down, you wanna go back to the job force, everything happens for a reason. And every new skill and new knowledge and wisdom that you developed will be 100% be able to be applied and leveraged to a successful career, to a new business, to whatever you do in your life. You're gonna come out of this as a more confident person, being okay with rejection and failure, being able to communicate to random people, to strangers, being able to influence your ideas onto other people and to be able to make sure that you know what it takes, you know what to do to maintain positive relationships with really good track record and results where people are happy to say positive things about your brand and your company and your agency. All of that, you're gonna learn. Whatever gap that you don't have right now, you're gonna be forced to learn it. You're just gonna have no other choice but to kind of make it happen. And so, you know, whatever next chapter your life brings, different businesses, different projects, or you wanna go back and you wanna now crush it in your workforce, like starting a business, particularly an agency, you're gonna learn so much about yourself. You're gonna develop so many new strengths. You're gonna develop so many new skills and, and a really rock strong foundation that's gonna set you up for success for whatever you do. So I think it's a great time to start a business. I think it's an awesome time to start an agency. It's very, very important to not leave things to chance, especially your future, right? To have more ownership, take things in your control, go for it, start something that has the highest chance of success, not trying to create the next Facebook or, or Netflix or Meta. Again, nothing wrong with that. But if you wanna work for yourself, your goal should be, how do I get this business up and running? How do I make money? And how do I continue to make money over and over and over and over again while creating a bigger foundation of happy clients that can, of course, eventually snowball into more happy reviews, ratings, more businesses down the line? And how do I also just level up as a person to continually to be challenged, to learn new things that I can then leverage to bigger goals, bigger projects, and bigger aspirations? So starting an agency for me changed my life. I came into it naive, which a lot of you probably have done or are doing right now. And it just forced me to learn and grow in so many ways through really great situations, through really challenging and stressful situations. And what I love about it is if you continue to stick with it and not give up and or continue to grow it, you're just gonna learn or be forced to learn that next level. It's gonna unlock that next level. Now, maybe your focus more is on leadership and management and scaling, which never makes it a dull moment in business every single day. And it's what kind of really gets me very excited to kind of wake up and just attack the day now with the team, which I love. I hope this video helps. And if you've been itching to kind of work for yourself for a long time, there's nothing more fulfilling you'll do running your own business and working for yourself. But there's also probably nothing you'll ever do that's also gonna cause you as much stress and anxiety. So make sure you know exactly what you're going into. But I hope that this video helps and gives you more direction that if you are entrepreneurial, yeah, you can of course shoot for the moon and build new technologies and innovations and things like that. But there's also, you know, service-based, more boring, less trendy businesses where you can still have an amazing life, especially if you know exactly how to make money, be profitable and have consistency. So I think business people should get together, should inspire each other, and of course, encourage those who are looking to kind of take that jump. And I know it's it's nerve wracking. I know it's nail biting. You know, you feel like, wow, my life's gonna be over if this doesn't work out. But I know that you're all smart. You all make really rational decisions or you're best at that. Have a safety net, right? Give yourself a backup, a financial cushion, take that leap. And of course, go after a business that, again, hopefully inspires you, makes you passionate and feels like you're really making a difference and helps you kind of take that next step in achieving success, whatever that may look like for you. So I hope this helps. If you want more like raw videos just like these for my personal experience, please comment down below.
down below. We'd love to hear from you. But for those of you making that jump, good luck. I'm excited for you. I can't wait. Please reach out anytime, share with me your experience, and we'll love to kind of cheer from you on the sidelines. So thanks again. Feel free to you know support our channel, get some recruiter merch for yourself, give us a like, subscribe, click that bell, really make a recruiter day, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.